Carol Lawson, who is a vice chair of Public Interest Alberta and a social worker from Calgary. Please tell me a bit about your work and how long you've been, you've been doing it, Carol. Uh, well, I've been a social worker for, well, since 1970, many years, and I've worked in healthcare in Alberta as a social worker for 27 years, so a long time. And who do you work with? I work with people who um, are newly disabled from a stroke or a brain injury or a spinal cord injury um, and who um, now are newly poor. And what are, you, what are they experiencing as a result of being newly poor? What are your clients experiencing? Um, well, Alberta, is, I don't know if you're aware, but Alberta is a very entrepreneurial province. So it's important um, in Alberta for people to take care of themselves. And so oftentimes these people uh, come to a disability with no social support system available to them. So if they're self-contracted, they have no EI, um, they have no long-term disability. Um, oftentimes when they're self-employed, they haven't applied for long-term disability benefits prior. So um, they either live on their savings at that point or they live off of social assistance, which is shocking to most of the people in terms of how are they now going to manage. And if their injury is going to be a chronic injury now, how are they going to manage long term? Poverty must be a swelling crisis in Alberta with the, uh, with the economic crisis. You must have quite a number of newly poor people. How are they faring? Uh, you know, I, I work mostly in healthcare, so I don't see the numbers of people who are laid off um, often. I see people who are injured, but I know that um, just from anecdotal evidence that there are huge numbers of people now um, in oil and gas and in the construction industry who thought this was never going to end and who never planned for um, this uh, prosperity to end, who are now facing huge debt loads and not being able to keep their homes and not being able to live the lifestyle that they feel entitled to. You're involved in, a, in developing a strategy to fight poverty through PIA? Yes, PIA, um, I belong to the um, task force on uh, uh, community human services and poverty reduction. And so uh, we are trying to advocate for people across Alberta um, who are facing um, not being able to feed their families, not being able to keep a roof over their head, who really have been become very marginalized. You no longer hear about the Alberta advantage. So what is your task force, force doing to, that, to pursue those goals? Uh, we have uh, various campaigns that we're running. Uh, one of the new campaigns that we've just launched is called Invest in Albertans. And we have some points that um, we believe is important for the Stelmet government uh, to, to look at. In other words, um, don't cut um, public services, but actually invest in public services because the people who are going to require them, there's going to be larger numbers now. Um, and and the, the deepening of poverty in Alberta is a huge concern. So we're asking the Stelmet government to, to take this seriously, to take Albertans seriously, and to not invest in corporations, but invest in us.